if you've ever seen Back to the Future Part 2, you have seen that Biff has the VHS big box of Black Taboo sitting right out. Too bad they didn't watch it in the movie. It's 1984's Black Taboo. <laughs> this is one of my favorite movies. It's been on my timeline for like over a month. There's a whole bunch to unpack because I was like, how do I talk about this using existing footage? This had an intro and an outro. I've got so much to say about this movie. We probably wouldn't even had to pull this one now that I'm looking at it. This movie is so amazing because it probably had ample coverage for transformation, but I'm doing it anyway because this is one of my favorite movies. Plus, I never mentioned that it was in Back to the Future 2, and I wanted to slide that nugget in there for you. I gotta be informative, right? We talked about this on uh, our art vlog, Black Taboo. And I shouldn't post this 25, which is the not funny edition. I spoke a lot about this. I'm gonna link it. It'll be right above me. I'm not gonna point up because there's nerds on TikTok that all they do is point up the whole time like you don't know the information's up there. This film came out in 1984. It was 81 minutes long. Our version is about seven minutes. Sahara, Jeannie Pepper, and Billy D, and Tony L.A. all give amazing performances. I love this movie. This was rated X. We got it down to G. Doesn't get any squeakier than that. Mark Weiss directed this. Only film he ever directed. He's only directed one movie in his whole life, and it's Black Taboo. He's a writer. He has 66 movies to his credit including Black Taboo 2, which he did not direct. 66 movies to his credit, and he's only directed one. And it's this one. Let's get into it. Oh, but first, duh, I'm Jason from Barefoot. This is Squeaky Clean Adult Films. I'll be in the end for a post-film discussion as well, okay? High beginning of the film. I'll be back at the end of the film. Roll the clip. Roll the clip. Do you think he'll remember us? I doubt it. I was eight and you were nine. We've both grown since then. Well, at least one of us has. Aspen is a man. We'll be meeting him at the airport. Ugh, I hate Samantha. She's just stuck up It's nauseating. You don't talk about your cousin like that. Besides, she's a saint compared to Alston. I know you don't like my brother, Miranda, but he and Sonny Boy used to be real close. And he got a right to see him. I like Uncle Alston. He brings me Tootsie Rolls. No wonder you're so fat. You two behave. She started it. I did not. I did too. <laughs> He's up on the boys, ladies. Sunny Thanks, boy. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Man, happy to see your son. Yeah. Thanks again, Dad. Hey, I appreciate all the attention, but I guess I'm still on lost time, and I'd like to just go take a nap. Okay? Hey, I don't blame you. We got lots of time to make up for, but we got all the time in the world to do it now. You're home, Sonny boy. That was count. Good oh. seeing you, Sonny. Come on, Sonny boy, let's go. Sal, why, why don't you and Theodora take Samantha up to her room? Okay. okay. Thanks, but I can do it myself. Well. <laughs> well, I guess it's good to have Sonny Boy home again, huh, Veranda? Well, it's been so long, I hardly recognize him. I guess we got a lot of celebrating to do tonight, so I think I'm going to take a little nap, too. I take it I have my usual room. It's looking that good. What? Do you remember him? It's looking that good. Oh, I don't remember him looking that good. Do you? No. You said he was gonna be all cratered and 
ugly. That man is a fox. I'm talking U.S. grade A hunk. Oh, he's not bad. He's not bad. He's gorgeous. Sure. Can't think of anything I would rather see right now. Well, here it goes. Ready? Okay. Eat him, lion pet. Chill on up and spit him out. Eat him, lion pet. Everybody give a shout. Eat him, lion pet. Drag their faces through the mud. Eat him, lion pet. Make him holler. We want blood. Eat him, lion pet. Well, very good. How'd you do that? Practice, I guess. Oh. Do you want me to show you how? Sure, why not? You stop that, you, you. Low life, sponger, bum. Come on, say it. Let it out, Miranda. I know you don't like me. Go ahead and say it. Go on, call me something. I won't say it. I'm a Christian woman. I won't say it. Yeah. Well, that's too bad you didn't. I bet you could take us some views. You stop that. I love it when you get mad. Oh. Mwah. Oh, <laughs> stop that. What if Cleola should come in right now? What would he say? <laughs> Something like, oh, I'm hungry. Oh. Where's lunch? Man's got to do what a man's got to do. You know what he say. You do know your brother, don't you? Oh, yeah. I know him so well that I gave up the prettiest girl in the world to him. Because I knew she'd be better off with him than with me. But you know something? Those two weeks he was my girlfriend, Veranda, was two of the happiest weeks of my life. Makes me almost wish I wasn't a bum. You're not a bum. Thank you for saying so, Veranda. But a man knows when he ain't nothing. Don't say you ain't nothing. You got a fine car and a fine house and a fine daughter. And you're successful. Um. Hi. Um. Theodora. Right. How are you doing? Oh, I'm real glad you're back. Hey, I'm glad to be back. What do you got there? My biology. Oh. Mom used to tell us how you were so good in high school when you, you, when you were in your biology classes. Come again? I was good in biology. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess, huh? I don't really know. Guessing is no good. We must have conclusive proof. Okay. So all times is you have something that good old home cooked, and huh, Sonny? Say, nothing beats that good old American home cooked. I'm going to the bathroom. You okay, darling? What? Oh, sure, yeah. Say, can you pass me the vegetables? Yeah. No. Thanks. <laughs> Where are you going, dear? Um, I gotta go pee. <laughs> but Samantha's in the bathroom. A man got to do. A uh, man got to do. Oh, God. God. A gentleman would have knocked. I ain't got no time for this. Good evening, girls. Are you busy? Yes. Good. I'm glad I'm not interrupting anything. Valdesta, I'd like to talk to you for a moment, if you don't mind. Sure. You were all ready for that big game next weekend, aren't you? Ready? Watch this. That's wonderful. That's <gasps> wonderful. Thank you. Now, what do you want? Wait a minute. Will you get off my back? Sunny boy, are you awake? Yes, ma'am. Good, I brought you milk and cookies. Okay, what did you think? Plot twist, is this not amazing? So there's this one scene. I hope you guys liked that. Let's hear a piece of what I had to say about it, and I shouldn't post this. This story takes place comes back from the military, doesn't really remember everybody, has, I don't know, if like shell shock is a factor. I guess shell shock is a factor. Appreciate all the attention, but 
I guess I'm still on last time. He gets adjusted, and you're thinking, you know, how old is this guy returning from the military? So there's a plot twist. Maybe he didn't have a bad memory and was shell-shocked, because at the very end, they find out that he doesn't have a mole. So after he's went through his whole family, crescendoing with his mother, do you don't have the tattoo? Who knows? Let's go on to a different subject. Sticking with Black Taboo. Does this movie have flaws? Dude kicks the camera. Thanks. Kicks the camera and keeps going with the boom in the shot. That's wonderful. Thank you. Now what do you want? Talking to your actors, not cut out. I feel bad about a few things lately. Taboo 9 came out yesterday and it's a little clunky. I promise only 8 and 9 are like that. They're re-uploads, they're midweek drops just like this, so they're from the past. Those are the only two that were bunk like that. If we ever get a, su a suggestion and it's that low of quality, we will pass. I promise you no more of that quality. Also, two days ago, our original squeaky clean adult films, not re-uploads, was La Femme Abjit. The whole movie got pulled. If you go click on it, it's just me talking, a couple seconds of the movie, and me talking. It got like four or five likes too, which is weird. Do you guys just like me? So because of all that, I am uploading my favorite movie. So as a peace offering, I give you Black Taboo. All right, guys, thanks for watching, especially if you're listening to this, because this is like the last thing you're gonna hear. Uh, but let's have my old outro uh, take us out of here and I appreciate you guys we have a PayPal button if you want to donate that's cool and make a suggestion if you have no money still make a suggestion we're of the people this is barefoot and independent we might be barefoot and pregnant but we're barefoot and independent don't subscribe don't like don't share just watch Kicking the tripod, boom in the shot, director talking to the actor, not cut out of the of the soundtrack, of the audio track. I was like, wait, 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 wait. And then the plot twist, I can't even get into it. I love you guys. Peace. Tune in. Let's talk about this film.